When combat achievements were first released back in July of 2021, I remember confidently saying that no hardcore Iron Man would ever complete all CAs, like all the tasks. And at the time, I believe there was only 400. Now there are 485. <laughs> so, like, I was so confident, though, that no hardcore would ever get it because there was just too difficult of tasks. And it felt like to get to the point where you can even do the tasks, you would have died by then, you know? So it's not simply the tasks that are the difficulty. It's like getting a Tebow, getting a... I mean, I know chambers are a safe death for hardcores, but I was still very confident. And then Praisefoot came along and completely just owned me. I mean, I was just... I mean, flabbergasted, to say the least. I was completely just shocked that a hardcore actually got a Zuck helmet. And now, just yesterday, Mutz has achieved the second Zuck helmet on a hardcore Iron Man. And I want to show you guys the clip where, um, yeah, he, get, he... So this is his final task. It is stay under 10 HP at Hydra and kill Hydra without ever going above 10 HP. That is... <laughs> Oh my God, like the pressure, the stress, the, that is just too much, man, too much. You've completed every task. You've uh, just had this hardcore that is just God tier, and now you're about to risk it all with this last task. So here it is. Eight. Nine. One. <laughs> Two. Three. I rewinded a little bit further back, Four. but you know. Five. Six. Seven. Combat pass completed. Oh my god! We did it! I got it! Let's go! Let's get out! Get out! Get out! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bro, I was shaking so hard at the end, man. I just raised my voice to, like, gain confidence there. So, that is, um, obviously just the task where he got it. Obviously, he had a huge party. He, he live-streamed this. Like, why, why would you... I mean, I understand the live-streaming for the hype, but, like, holy shit, the nerves have got to be out of control. If, if you did it off-stream, it would be a little bit more calm and collected, but this man is a savage, and he did it all live and yeah, so I just got to give Mutz the biggest amount of praise and shout out. I mean, he's just a god at this game. He truly is. And I actually think he's underrated. I think Mutz is incredibly underrated. And I mean, I don't think, I think now people, now people can really understand how great of a player this really is. This man has created countless hardcores since the inception of the game mode and he has not stopped he literally kept going he would remake a hardcore the second his previous one died and he would just go on again and try to do it this like this is just insane the dedication of this man is like unbelievable who remakes that many hardcores and is still determined you know i mean i'm pretty sure if he literally dies on this hardcore he will literally redo all cas on a new hardcore <laughs> and go even beyond what he's created on this account it's just unbelievable he's truly a, just a beast at this game and i think we can all agree on that at this point now people have been asking me who is the better hardcore, Praisefoot or Mutz? And honestly, I will need to get an evaluation. Not like I'm like this like judge that judges who is the best. I mean, you guys can all make your own opinions uh, on the matter. I think right now, just with the knowledge I know, I believe Mutz has more items. I think he has more like gear, but he isn't maxed yet. Now, that's obviously not like a, a dangerous thing to do really to max. So he'll, he'll be able to max. But... Praise Foot. Um, actually, I'll just look him up real quick because <clears throat> he is max and he has almost 1.2 bill XP. Again, the XP for the most part is not dangerous, but like that has to, we have to, if I'm really judging who's the greatest hardcore of all time, there's got to be some sort of like other basis besides just you know Zuck helmet and who like I like more basically so like I mean I would I'm honestly gonna say praise foot is still the better hardcore currently but I 
I'm not sure after after Mutt's maxes and gets his infernal max cape with a Zuck helmet and we and I can evaluate banks and I can evaluate like achievements and collection log and all that shit. I will literally like say who is the greater one. But as of right now, I still believe Praisefoot is still the GOAT. And he was the first to do it, which also you got to give a little bit of credit to. You can't give too much credit to because, you know, that's kind of unfair for people that do anything beyond that. I remember talking to Ari Slash on the Sebe cast, and he still holds Oispakalja as, like, the greatest hardcore. And he can't be ever, like, that spot can never be taken from him. I think that's silly. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think that's silly for a hardcore to have done something and now it's impossible to recreate because it was back in a time period that can't ever be recreated. I don't know. I just think Oispa for his time, yes, he was the greatest at the time and then he died and other people surpassed him. I mean, I I would even say Sick Nerd, like, at one point had passed Oispa. Like, Sick Nerd had completed Tob. And I think a lot of people have surpassed what Oispa's done. He, at the time... Again, this is like the bonus points I'm giving to Praise Foot for, for being the first to a Zuck helmet. That's impressive. That's incredibly impressive. That's like unforeseen territory to get that. That was the same with Oispa. Oispa had an account that was just way beyond the second person uh, at the time. But I think we can not be incredibly dogmatic about this and say who really is the best. Because Mutz right now is way better of a hardcore than Oispa is like if you compare their accounts right now like it's clear but i think the nostalgia and just the, like the i think a lot of it's nostalgia and just for like the time period of what it was c makes us think differently but let me know down in the comments who you guys think is the greatest hardcore of all time i'm gonna put praise foot currently but again as soon as mutts maxes and i get a re like a, an evaluation of their accounts entirely i might change my mind to mutts but we'll see so, yeah, I just wanted to make this short little ramble talking about it. I am just a huge fan of Mutz. I think uh, he's an incredibly talented player, and it, he is just so dedicated to hardcore. When I think of hardcore Iron Man, I think Mutz. Like, he's just, he's always been a hardcore. He's always just thrived in that game mode. He never gets down on himself for dying on a hardcore and recreating. He just keeps his head forward and just like continues and is super determined. I think it's just amazing. I think there's a huge lack of that determination in the game. Obviously it's a game. So, you know, we can, it's a children's game from 2001, but at the same time, I feel like the drive and just the insane amount of determination and dedication to uh, a play style and, and like a game mode is just, I don't know. We don't see it much. And I think Mutz deserves a lot of credit for what he's done here today. And uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you guys for listening. If you guys enjoy these rambles, be sure to subscribe. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And um, also, we're going to be getting Nine Rain on the Sebe cast this next week. And then the week following, after my birthday, we are, be are going to be getting two J mods on at the same time talking about RuneScape, probably talking about a lot of stuff, sailing, forestry, ruinous powers, where the game's headed and all that stuff. So look forward to that. I'm very, very excited. So thank you guys. Uh, and also just, you know, deep apologies for the lack of rambles this past month. It's been, it's been, it's been horrible. So I'm going to be trying to get back on that ramble wagon for the summer. So uh, rest assured. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.